Heavy rainfall across our region is causing problems for local grape growers and wineries. 18 News reporter Hayden Rusnavsky finds out how all the wet weather is impacting vineyards around Seneca Lake. It, it could get really bad if we don't start getting more sun and uh, warm, you know, warmer temperatures. Local winemakers say the amount of rain they're seeing is uncharacteristically heavy for the month of June. As a result, the vineyards aren't in the best shape. Some are experiencing a large amount of disease that flourishes in wet, humid weather. Because of the wet weather, we're getting disease uh, issues, downy mildew, black rot. If the rain continues and the disease spreads, it can be devastating to a grape crop. The disease of the downy mildew uh, affecting the, the leaves, uh, clusters, it, it could get really bad and you could lose your crop. And here at Glenora Wine Cellars on the other side of Seneca Lake, they aren't having many issues with disease, but they are having some trouble getting into the vineyards to work on the grapes because the vines are so wet and the rain has been so heavy. Very, very wet. We've had over uh, almost seven inches of rain here during the month of June and as much as two inches just this past weekend. So to get the tractors and the equipment in the vineyards, uh, that, the soil is really wet and really soggy. Winemakers say the frost in the late spring, coupled with the heavy rain this summer, is making grape growing pretty difficult in 2015. 2015 is going to be a, a bit of a challenging year. I mean, ideally, we wouldn't like to get six, or six inches of rain in a month. We'd like to see the temperatures warmer than they are today. The crops of both the vineyards we visited today are still doing well enough to produce quality grapes this year. However, they do say they are worried about the amount of grapes they will be able to harvest if this wet weather continues. Reporting live in the studio, Hayden Rostevsky, 18 News. Jeff?